Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my reviews. So to, in today's video, I'll be reviewing the new Mask Play Automatic, which is the newest watch from Hong Kong watch micro brand Tex. While Tex is perhaps best known for its camera inspired watches, I've reviewed quite a few on this channel before. The brand also has several other intriguing models, including the new uh, Mask Play Automatic that literally puts a different spin on time telling. So let's see if it's any good. So let's start with the specifications. So like the previous watches from Tex I review, I will say that a Mask Play Automatic or MPA for short has decent specs for the price. However, unfortunately, you know, unlike in the other models like the ATL or the AVL2 that I reviewed, the Mask Play Automatic only uses a K1 crystal. So this is not Sapphire, right? So while you know, K1 crystal is slightly more durable than uh, the mineral crystal you know, for most like fashion watches is still significantly less durable than the sapphire crystal in terms of scratch resistance so it's a bit disappointing given that you know both the watches I read previously the ATL and the AVL2 had sapphire crystal although admittedly those were priced at a slightly higher price point now in addition you know the water resistance rating for this is 50 meters I believe it says so uh, here at the back it's 50 uh, meters of water resistance rating so you know uh, you should be able to use it in um, any situation that doesn't involve prolonged contact with water. Now you can also see, since we already had a case back, that ticking inside is the Miota 82SO movement, which also powers a previously reviewed uh, AVL2. That's unsurprising given that you know, the Miota 82SO movement is one of the only affordable skeletonized movement on the market currently. The 82S0 bits at 21,600 bits per hour or 3 Hz, hand winds, has about 42 hours of power reserve and uh, but does not hack. I'm not usually fond of like the Miota 8 series and you can see that the, the rotor you know, uh, spins quite a lot so there's a bit of rotor wobble and you know sometimes it's second hand starter but on this watch it's not that noticeable I would say. And you can also see that although the movement is sort of like half obscured by this um, semi obscured case back you can see basic Geneva striping Although, you know, the rotor is a generic non-custom one, which is a shame. Now, on to the strap. The strap is actually pretty nice. It's a Hawin, brown Hawin leather strap that comes on this uh, ash blue variant of the MPA. There's also two other colorways of the mask plate automatic. I think one in black and one in gold. But here, you know, the brown Hawin leather strap is very nice. It even comes with quick release spring bars for interchangeability. It feels robust and well made. You can see it's pretty thick as well. And... Yeah, you know, Huawei is one of the most notable ladders out there. So it's definitely one of the better straps I've seen at this uh, 300 USD price point. However, you know, no one really buys any of the, I think, tax watches for the specs. The unique selling point of this is definitely its intriguing design. So let me bring this closer to the camera. So the MPA has what tax calls a uh, half face design, right? Where the left side of the dial is sort of obscured by like a mask, which gives the watch its name. It's an interesting concept, you know, and one that I've not seen executed, you know, anywhere else. The result is like a striking conversation start on the wrist, and it clearly differentiates it from like the masses of affordable, you know, micro brand homages in the market today. They also take a left field approach to time telling. So let me, uh, let me pull this out. So you know, you can see here on the actually, let me bring this closer to the camera. You can see more clearly. You can see here that the inner track, the inner disc, is the minutes, the outer track is hours. So let me simulate, you know, the passage of time. So you can see this how the time telling works. So you really base it based upon the sort of center line here. You can sort of tell the time. So yeah, it's a pretty cool concept, you know. Um, it's not the most legible of watches, obviously, but that's not the point in watches like this. It's just a different spin on time telling. And I'm not sure if you can see, I'm bringing closer to the camera, but over here, you also have... Uh, the latitude of Tokyo recordings of Tokyo in scrap, which the brand is pays so much to Japanese founder uh, Motugi san. Now, as I say on the cake, the MP also has an open heart at the center of the dial, so it allows the wearer to view the mechanical movement within. So, the open heart combined with the layered um, mini and hour disc, as well as the mask on top of it, results in a dial that has a lot of depth, has depth in spades. In addition, you know, the conspicuous red seconds hand, you can see the red seconds hand uh, sort of ticking here, really adds like a pop of spotty color, I would say, to the overall watch. Now, in terms of the case, you know, the case is a cushion case. You can see this sort of like this Panerai-esque 
a cushion case. I like it, you know, it's brushed on the front, so you can see, but you know, polished uh, on the sides. So you can see uh, mirror polish sides and with a sign crown as well, that's non screwed down. So I think the cushion case is a smart choice, you know. It really, you know, I like the intriguing sort of like circle in square design that adds further visual intrigue to the watch. Now let me put this on my wrist and show you guys how it wears. Now while the AVL2 and the ATL were both big watches, the mask play automatic comes substantially smaller in terms of dimension with a case diameter of 42mm. Combined you know, with the short lux, the watch wears well on my 7 inch wrist. So you can see you know, it, the lungs don't overhang or anything like that. However, it's still um, like quite thick at 13.5mm uh, thick. So you know, this probably won't be one that will function as a dress watch. It definitely wouldn't fit under a shirt cuff. Overall, you know, I really like the innovative design of the mask play automatic. You know, I think the mask concept is refreshing and I appreciated the uniqueness of using the rotating disc to tell time. The 3D nature of the dial is so eminently striking. It's definitely one of the most unique watches that I've seen at this US $300 price point. My only knock is the lack of sapphire crystal on this watch, so you could be careful not to like knock it accidentally against a hard surface. Alright, those interested in purchasing you know, the mask play automatic and use the promo code WASOSHOK upon checkout to enjoy 15% off all tax watches store wide. After the discount, you know, the mask play automatic seen here would cost only US $315 or about Singapore $428 which makes it an easy recommendation for those who want something unique, something left view, something that's atypical without breaking the bank. And alright, that concludes my review for today. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up, do subscribe, do share around. As always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao!